don't need much in order to sweep the board. Get rich fast with CSGOFAST.com. Kerrigan takes point, spots the man behind Toxic, and he will find the kill just before going down, but Config is still alive in pit, and he gets both kills. This is quickly falling apart now for Astralis as Config just wipes them out. The ace for Config. Pooch, I think actually peaking for, for Mo over there, but he was a little bit slow to come out, so an easy shot happening. Acousta could have very nearly been a double kill for him. He's got Mo down there. It's a bit of a fight going on, a bit of a patience battle. Flashbang comes out, and Acousta, look at him taking his time. That is exactly the kind of mentality that made Kusta a big talking point to begin with. That's what you want to see. That's a really important uh, trait for a player to have. Tarek not being able to follow up on Adrian. That should have been probably been a kill. And somehow we're in a three on three. And Adrian's already watching mid for that rotate to come through. Upper Dark is, you know, Cutler has control of Upper Dark at this point. Kusta hits the flick. He actually rotates in time to spot out space. That drops the bomb with 30 seconds left. Now that doesn't leave a whole lot of time here for Gambit to make something happen. Kusta can fall into pit. He knows that they've got they lost control of Catwalk. That's fine because Kusta has now got the angle onto the site. He's got the angle onto CT as well. This could be his hero round. A fourth kill for Kusta. And now it's all on Adrian. He's been spotted as well. Kusta has no idea that he's been legged already, but he doesn't. It's not necessary. The ace for Kusta. He single-handedly shuts down Gambit on the A site. He needs to get that bomb down and uh, then get away. They're at man disadvantage already. It's simple on the high ground here, but there's not much you can do. There's nobody for him to shoot. The numbers of his team are running down. Almost dying from jump, the jump there. At least putting in work though. Three versus three now, and that bomb might just go down. But how many plays will they have left once it does? Eco doing his best to cover his teammate. Kenyas comes out. Kenyas can't be stopped at the moment. Elise alone now versus three. He knows he's got high sense. That's a nice two-man spray down. Where's the last man? Doesn't know. He has enough bullets. That is an unbelievable clutch there for Elise. This will be more of the same for Navi. Work the map nice and slow. Work that first pick and stick together and trade frags. But somehow Elise once again opens it up. I think it's from the same area towards Pop Dog. He gets an AK for his troubles as well. That's a little bit sloppy from Zeus. Well, something to work with now. It looked like an impossible task, actually. Seems like it's a little bit more of a reality now. Nitro's playing in the same corner we saw Elise try and utilize at A main. JDM beside him this time to play the aggro. Try and bait them in. It's Guardian on the other side of the doorway with Bomb, but isn't heading that direction because Cease and Flamey have already gone out. Ivy, he's going to wait for them to probe the site, get information. And Elise sitting on the top of control won't be spotted yet by Seized, but he could easily wrap around and consider checking as his teammate already covers off one. That's a bit of a miscue because not only does he fire his teammate, it gives away their positioning. He has slipped through all the way, though. So where do they head? Is it going to be near B? He's just going to cut rotations, but Elise does pop back around. He takes down two Guardian Bomb as well. That's huge. 41 seconds to play with. Seized will take back simple. Pico's rotating late from CT. Elise just has to stay alive in this position, and his teammate, JDM, doesn't have vision onto Edward, but Elise has done it all. An ace for him. T side as well for SK. Pro taking the lead early, and yet coming advantage. It's crucial. It has again. Same thing. Lines up four. Don't you dare walk through that window, because Taz will just shut it every single time. It's FNX versus the world right now. You thought they'd learned that lesson from the last round, but they've given Taz the ace. Way to boost this guy's confidence. One in chicken coop smoke, Elfie Alley's gonna be able to wrap around on the but he's on the M4 this time, and he's got two. The spray transfer on to Neo. Shark's trying to find the equalizer, but look at Cole go! You're talking about double off, he goes down four, he's got an ace in overtime! And what an ace to get, it goes 16-16! Four liquid players towards the now they know, but it's too late. Dennis with the fast frag on a simple. Sure, he could get the return, but the bomb will be planted. Dennis posting a defense by the APC now as that bomb ticks away. Three versus three as Dennis pops more heads. Is this guy done just yet? I don't even know. He's got all of my stuff for support as well. This is a very tough re-entry for Liquid Watts. Dennis is getting in there again. And there might be one more, of course. Dennis with the ace to kick off the second half. A little bit, but there's the reply. Elise gonna be going down. FNX picking up Nitro as well. It's now a three on three with 40 seconds on the clock. As JDM picks up two big kills, a third one coming in, and now it's all up for somehow the American sniper saves them, and that's an ace in one round. JDM destroying SK.